Turning now to your price points, Intel is planning to lay off thousands of people. They're one of the biggest employers in Folsom, but will this impact the city? ABC 10's Jeannie Nguyen has been looking into this all day and joins us in studio with the city's response. Jeannie. Becca, last Thursday, Intel's CEO notified employees that the company plans on cutting 15,000 jobs by the end of this year. And after speaking to former employees today, these major layoffs are not new for Intel. I went through this weird, like, oh, crap, this really sucks, to, you know, I was kind of excited. After three decades at Intel in Folsom, Jeff Galinovsky didn't intend to have a fresh start so soon after he was laid off in June. I felt like Intel stopped caring about its employees about, you know, 10, 15 years ago. And Galinovsky says the latest round of layoffs illustrates that's still the case now. Last week, Intel's CEO sent this letter to employees announcing 15% or 15,000 positions would be cut by the end of the year in an attempt to save $10 billion. You know, when it comes to um, Wall Street and shareholders, uh, they obviously want to see better margins. They want to see better earnings. Uh, they want to see better revenues. Intel would not grant our request for an interview Tuesday, and it's unclear how many people from which campuses will be laid off. Earlier this year, the Biden administration provided $8.5 billion in direct funding to Intel through the CHIPS Act to advance semiconductor projects. Sources tell ABC 10 Intel has yet to receive that money. Until then, finance experts believe cutting costs with the workforce is the only reasonable way to go. Intel stock still hasn't gone back to where it used to be in the year 2000. This week, Intel has started what they're calling an enhanced retirement offering for eligible employees to voluntarily leave. But Galinovsky believes this should be a major learning lesson for those at the top. It's not the employees that you're letting go, this 10, 15, 18%, they're not your problem. It's leadership and it starts at the top and that's where you need to clean house. Otherwise, Intel's not gonna recover from this. The city of Folsom has not received any warn notices regarding any layoffs at that Folsom campus, but a spokesperson with the city tells us, in short, it is dedicated to fostering an environment that continues to attract and retain a diverse range of tech enterprises. To see their full statement, you can head over on to our website at abc10.com. Becca.